let's say he has two cool options that work that work perfectly every time. Either he's gonna get his back shot to the mat, which is the ultimate takedown. If, he, if his back goes to the ground after this, he's he's done. You'll pin him, you'll control his knee line, and you'll just pummel him, pummel him, pummel him. But if he goes belly down, I'll show you what I mean. So if I go here, he gets to the outside. And he starts to retreat, whatever. He starts to retreat from me like this. If his leg is limp, let's say there's no like coil in his leg, it's kind of like a linguini leg, like this, you can go knee line, knee long, and pull it off of your hip, and he gave you a clear access to his, un his armpit, his, le his left armpit. So if I step in, I go here, look, I have a tabletop, and I have an underhook here. The only issue is I can't get my arm in. So if you want, what you can do is keep the knee control and just pull this hip off the wall slightly. You see that? Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna underhook, and I can ride from here. If you feel leverage, you can always, see that? Start to chip his leg up. Attack his knee line, and now look where we are. We're in an incredible pinning position. If he stays on his forearm, what do we do? Inside wrist. He can't defend himself. We're gonna work with him now. Again, I have a single leg. It. He does a great job, a phenomenal job of getting his leg in position. Remember guys, his leg stays here. Don't transfer to this side. He won't let you do that easily. It's going to be hard. This is ideal. It's not a leg. I promise you. This is all. It's the best way to get. The down turns. Keep the knee line. But get it off of your hip. See? And the tabletop. Now I, I go deep. I grab his chest. And now watch this. This is a big thing. He's a new guy to pay attention to. You're not going to be able to get your hand through that gap because of the wall and the padding will go up. So pull his thigh away. Look. I go here. See? Then I slide to the gap. And then I go chest wrap. Chest wrap. Yeah? Chest wrap. Now watch my right leg. I hook. I drop my chin down. And this is all I care about now. It's his knee line. Because if Chris is able to free up his knee, he's going to get it to the wall, and he's going to escape. It's, it's just jujitsu basic cash guard, but in MMA it has different uh, implications. So what I want to do is have to control that knee, make sure that he can't, he's not using it intelligently, make sure he's not able to escape it. And then from here, we're looking for the inside wrist wrap. We come to the inside, we flare our elbows, and then we start to let off hard shots on top. Again. This is just one option that we have. When his leg is kind of weak, when he's just focused on, uh, what's up, let's leg. When he's just focused on, just like, oh shit, the guy's aggressively taking me down. He's here, clear it. Lock him up. Pull him. Take it down. Knee line control. He can't escape, he can't escape. Inside wrist. I'm poor hard shots. I think I have to show it again. So I know this is, this is very advanced, right? For everybody, very advanced. The last detail, and we'll only do this for three minutes, is I have Chris, he goes belly down, but he keeps a good strong leg here. So I'm, I go to lift him, but he keeps driving his knee down. Yeah, see? I'm not able to get past it. So what we'll do is we'll buckle down, we're gonna put it, your ear on the guy's ass. Watch this, and I drop to my knee. From here I go ankle, knee, and I start to draw him in. Very simple, and then what do we do? We get our head on the inside, and we start to control the knee line. I don't know what he's gonna do with his leg. Do we keep his legs compressed like this? You know what we do, right? We trap. You can always mount the guy as well. Mount, I don't love mount. I mean, I'll go mount the guy if he's dead. If he's dead, you might. But usually this is a better pinning position to stop him from, from climbing up. Uh, if he keeps this knee up, just do what I just showed you. The last one. Protect the knee line, same thing, half guard. Attack the wrist. All right, again, again. So why are we doing this and not going straight to our be body locks and all that stuff? Because he has a strong shin bone. If he let me do this, I'll go straight to wrestling him in the upper body. But he's smart, he's just keeping that knee down. So we put, turn our ear to the butt. Now look, see that tabletop on the shin? 
Now, if he goes to run away, go ahead. Impossible. I'm trapped beforehand. Okay, so, so look, I'm going tabletop, ear to the butt, arm around the hamstring, ankle. If the knee's there, grab the knee. Why? Because now I can pull his knee towards my hip, here, and start controlling his knee up. Now look, he can't get his knee to the wall. What's his goal? Mm -hmm. See? Simple, guys. It's simple. So once you figure out the, the recipe for what guys do, you'll be able to hold a lot of guys down there. Here, I step over. If he lets me, if you know the leg lace, I'm not going to break that down right now. Do the leg lace. Here you go. And then what? Who wants to see it one last time? One more time. He has a strong, strong situation with his leg. He's real strong here. Okay. Here. Here. Ankle. Knee. Control. Elbow deep on the knee. Look how tight my elbow is. It's right on his knee line. Then my head goes to the inside. Over. See the head twitch? You keep your head here, guys. You gotta go belly down again. Do that. You gotta get. Watch my, watch my head, dude. That's it. And then we're ready to work from there. Let's get it on three. One, two, three.